every year we look at bringing some art and culture into Covent Garden. We have an open air art gallery, which is fabulous, and we try and find something that's innovative, new and different. Last year we had a floating building, and this year we wanted to find something that would work with the building um, in a majestic way. We'd found out about Charles, who is French-based, never exhibited publicly, and never in the UK, because he uses balloons to take into buildings, everyday buildings, so that people look at them from a different light. I think he was challenged and intrigued at the two words. He was terrified. He has worked tirelessly for the last seven days, four nights. I don't think he slept for four or five days, but he's so pleased with it. He's put a lot of lights into this and this is the beating heart he thinks and Covent Garden being the beating heart of the West End of London so absolutely perfect for us. I decided to choose uh, to work with balloons because uh, it's uh, a kind of universal language everybody uh, knows exactly what is a balloon a child here in London a child in South America a child in China everybody knows exactly what it is it look uh, it looks cheap uh, it's, uh, so anyway um, it's very um, easy to understand and I can develop a kind of language thanks to the balloons it's just like a, a raw materials for me the, the balloons uh, help me to, to create uh, the metaphor and to ask question um, my, my work is uh, the goal of my work is to ask question or to um, to, to refresh a, a, a new, to provide a new point of view. Uh, sometimes you can see different space and uh, it's just the normal life for you. But suddenly, if we introduce something strange in this space, uh, we will ref I will refresh the, the, your point of view. 